moving on, but moving on. So we've talked about KSI and how I also think he needs to fight Tyron Woodley because I think that's the fight that he should Which, be looking at. Well, was, Tyron Woodley would take it because yeah. another payday and he can just, it doesn't matter if he wins or loses at this well, point. I mean, it seems like his MMA career was so long ago. <laughs> if I was KSI, this is what I'm doing. Next month, I'm fighting Alex Wasabi. I am beating Alex Wasabi just to get in the ring and get hit a couple of times, right? In four months, I'm going to go fight on whatever undercard Jake Paul is doing. I'm going to go fight Tyron Woodley. I'm going to put up a good effort. And if I imagine win, that for a co main event, though, that event oh, would be huge. Wouldn't be a co main event. He'd be the, it would be the undercard, 100%. But he would. Depends. Depends how they market the fight, to be honest, and who Jake Paul's fighting. If he if he beats Tyron Woodley, if because let's just be honest here, that's probably not going to happen. I, but if then the Jake Paul KSI fight talks get back on. Yeah, but and you could do I this mean, all under a, a year of KSI. Yeah, and does he really want to? Like well, it sounds like it sounds like he wants Jake Paul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know if that's the question. Is he wants to, but is it reachable? Is no, it possible no. to beat Jake Paul ever? <laughs> what would he have to do to beat Jake he Paul? Would, he would. Do you know if he's continued like training and staying fit? Because I know in between fights, he'd like let well, himself go a bit before he got back. KSI fans training. and that, they say he's in the gym and he trains, but like. Yeah. Uh, bro, people on tour don't often train and shit. No. Like that doesn't doesn't happen. But no. it, it's, a, it's a tough one. Um, but if you're Jake Paul again, I'm still fighting someone else. Um, I, I'm going to... If I'm him, I would be... Try, I'd be pushing for a fight against... What's his name? Even more now. Um, Tommy Fury. Because if he fights yeah. him now... If I, I'm, I'm taking Jake Paul now because like... I don't know what that's a fight. Tommy Furies is doing. That's the fight that I'd be interested in seeing from him. I mean, and that that fight, I would be more... I, I would have said Tommy Fury, and I probably did say him quite I a while ago. Did, but yeah. Yeah. Now, now you'd not be too sure. But again, he's beaten, what, Tyron Woodley, Ben Askren. He needs another yeah. one under his belt. Like, do you think Tommy Fury is that another one? Because I, I think, yeah, that's what that's what you'd think it'd be before, before I start taking him too seriously. Well, because... that's before the next guy who, if he beats Tommy Fury, then that's a you, you're going to Conor McGregor. Like that's the next fight. That is the next fight. <laughs> that is the money fight, and is the money fight. Conor would just. Uh, it'd just be sad for me to, to see him. I I can't see him losing. He he was very good against Mayweather. Mayweather still was quite old, but man, it'd just be like how far Conor McGregor had fell if he was to fight Jake Paul. And I've seen him like responding to things Jake Paul has been saying without mm-hmm. mentioning his name, which is like, why are you even bothering? Like they're trying McGregor to brew something up of yeah. some sort. Like McGregor doesn't need that. Like mm. he can sell out a fight against anyone. So yeah. the the thing is too though, if Conor McGregor and Jake Paul are fighting now, I'm probably still taking Conor McGregor because that man oh, can yeah, eat I'm... up a punch. Yeah, Jake I'm Paul's best thing is way. offense. And look, I've seen Conor McGregor spar. He is not a better boxer when it comes to techniques or anything like that than what jake paul is but if you gave conor mcgregor even a couple of months to learn that technique dude the punches he can take he took yeah if he took that seriously like he would just outlast he's not getting knocked out yeah he'd outlast him easily he could win on points with his eyes closed so well he he took it seriously yeah to, to, to do that you would have to take it seriously he would have to Again, have a little bit better technique than what he did against Mayweather. Uh, yeah, because again, and, against Mayweather, I mean, it's been the quite reason, some time. Yeah, and he went. The reason Mayweather fight, it was said that Connor did so well, is because he lasted a long time. Yeah, it was. Against, 
it was like, whoa, he's actually yeah. in there, you know? Which, I mean, he was a killer back in the days, won one mm. fight since 2016. There's the the reason I'm so against it is because there's so many fights that he can have in the UFC I and agree. he can build himself back up. Yeah. So <laughs> plus I don't think Jake Paul is the fight because again, as I said, the reason he looked so good against Floyd was because he just lasted. He was yeah. just there. But against Jake Paul, look, you can do the same thing, but that's not gonna guarantee you the win. If Jake no. Paul has better technique and he lands more hits, that's what's gonna catch the ref's eyes. If you stand there and just get hit the whole time and throw some doinky ass throws, it's not gonna, <laughs> it's not gonna be the greatest thing ever. So he's got to <laughs> practice his technique and everything. I don't think McGregor would let. Like, imagine McGregor's image if, if he happened, lost yeah. to Jake Paul. That's what I'm. It like, would never happen. It would never happen. It would completely tarnish everything he's ever done. No matter how many people he knocked out in thirty seconds. Yeah. So. Uh, Give Conor McGregor two months and he's smacking Jake Paul up. Yeah, That's my 100%. final verdict. There's no way Jake Paul... Let, let that man learn technique and the fight is done. Because <laughs> he's got the power. Bro, his technique is just bad. I've watched <laughs> the Floyd Mayweather fight and it's just not... It is not great. Yeah, it was... I don't... I only watched it once and that was at live when... They played it in a room at the MCG. I was at like St. Kilda really? versus Richmond or something. Yeah. And they played it in a room and we went in and watched it. So, also, the yeah. height difference is it's a little different now, too. Oh, You're yeah. going from a man that's five foot eight and a half, five foot nine to six foot and a half or whatever Jake Paul is. Yeah, it's quite a difference. Yeah. So, I mean, but bro, two months in, the, and that's what he's doing now. Um, he was posting videos of him boxing and his technique looked a little better. There was just, there were some issues, but man, it's going to take time. <laughs> I mean, is he still walking on a broken ass ankle too? Oh, bro, that injury, that was sickening. Yeah. But uh, he was still sitting on the ground talking shit. That's just, that's <laughs> just so McGregor. DMs. <laughs> bro, how do you even have the power to talk? Bro, imagine the amount of, well, the adrenaline from being out there, oh, I yeah, guess. True. And like, with some like subsidize the pain but the fact that he was still chatting shit on the yeah. ground it's just the most mcgregor thing ever mm. yeah I, as i said i think conor mcgregor is smacking jake paul but god damn that would, be a, that would be a good fight especially if paul <laughs> beat tommy fury that yeah. would be a kick-ass fight to watch i think they're both batshit crazy that would just Imagine, oh, the imagine, imagine the conferences. Oh yeah, my god, exactly. it'd be so entertaining. Imagine yeah, they'd be. Please. Yeah, that would honestly, the build up would probably be better than the actual fight. Yeah. All right. I'll probably, I'll probably end off the pod. I want to thank you for coming on. It's been, been pretty good. We definitely All good, bro. We, we said some interesting things, especially about the Lakers. I think I've said some things about McGregor, which might get me hate. It might make me look like a Jake Paul fanboy, but honestly. I'm I'm stating the truth. Where you want to talk shit about me saying he's got bad technique, he just does. Like his boxing <laughs> technique's not great. But I'm also not saying that this guy wouldn't absolutely destroy the shit out of Jake Paul in like one round if he got it figured out. Like it would be crazy how much that man would kill him. Yeah, hundred so, percent. Obviously, and I'm, I mean Jake Paul saying he's offering to go in the octagon. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not happening. Let's ignore that's that. That's just the most stupid thing yeah. of all time. But yeah, leave a like, <laughs> subscribe to the channel, comment in the comment section down below. Do you want me to link your channel? Is there a comeback coming around? Do right? it. Come link, back coming soon. Link Aussie FIFA down below. Um, and yeah, go check out the Cliffs channel, all of that. And I guess I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.